"Mother!" cried the Princess. "Father! Oh, where are you? I'm so dreadfully sad!" The Princess found her parents in the garden and collapsed in front of them. "Oh, Father!" she sobbed. "Oh, Mother! I can't find my Royal Princess horse riding shoes. How shall I ride Buttercorn without them?" "There, there!" said the Queen, trying to comfort her daughter. "I already checked there!" cried the Princess. "And there, too! They're not there! They're not anywhere!" "Well, I don't see how crying will help!" said the King. "But that's how I got them in the first place!" "Sweetie," said the Queen, "I hardly think your horse—" "Her name's Buttercorn!" interrupted the Princess. "Buttercorn!" said the King with great confusion. "I hardly think," said the Queen, "that Buttercorn will notice." "But, Mother," said the Princess, "my Royal Princess horse riding shoes are for riding my horse. Without my Royal Princess horse riding shoes, how shall I ride my horse? Would you like me to tell you what I think is going to happen?" said the Queen. Not really, said the Princess. Well, I'm going to tell you anyways, the Queen continued. You see, what I think is going to happen is you're going to go down to the stables, and you're going to see Buttercup, Buttercorn. Yes, you'll go to the stables, and you will see Buttercorn, and Buttercorn will look at you, and Buttercorn will think, oh, look! There's that girl that takes me to play in the fields, in the forest. And then we go to that place where I eat oats while she drinks tea. And then we come home and I go to sleep. I don't always have tea, said the princess. I doubt Buttercorn notices, said the queen. And so the princess went to the stables, and she did her pre-riding stretches as the unionized stabled employees readied Buttercorn. And the princess rode Buttercorn out of the castle, and the two passed through the gates, and they were barely down the path along the river, when the princess heard a voice say, Why, princess, where are your royal princess horse riding shoes? Hello, yes, said the princess. Who said that? Buttercorn stopped and looked at her as best she could under the circumstances, and again asked, Princess, where are your royal princess horse riding shoes? I knew you'd notice, said the princess. Of course I would, said Buttercorn. Who told you that I wouldn't? My mother, the queen, said the princess. Well, did she? replied Buttercorn. Did she now? The queen was sitting in the garden, admiring her flower arrangements. She felt a tap on her shoulder, and she turned around to see a very angry-looking Buttercorn. Well, 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 said Buttercorn. If it isn't Little Miss, think she knows everything. Look at you with your knowledge of everything. I beg your pardon, said the queen. Oh yes, I bet you would. I bet you'd like that very much to beg for my pardon, now wouldn't you? You're a queen, madam, and queens don't beg. You forget yourself. And with that, Buttercorn slapped the queen. Your ignorance offends me, madam, and it will not stand. Did you just strike me, said the queen? And Buttercorn struck her again. I demand an apology, said Buttercorn. Very well then, said the Queen. I apologize for offending you. Well, that's more like it, said Buttercorn. You, you just make sure this doesn't happen again. Well, I'll be sure not to, said the Queen. Well, well, good then, said Buttercorn. And away her and the princess went in search of the royal princess horse riding shoes, which they did eventually find in the royal princess closet of shoes.
the end.